I'll just give you a couple examples. Like just trash, just trash. Look, trash isn't gonna end the world. I hate trash. I can't stand trash everywhere. California has trash all over the place. California is like a landfill. And I'm like, I can't figure out why liberals who love the environment, they, they, why they can't stand this. There's trash, I've never, if you've been to any other city in the United States and you've come to California, you'll, these, these cities are filled with trash. You say, well, what, what's, the, what's the context? Well, you know what? I don't like trash all over. I don't like needles all over. I don't like sharp glass everywhere in the context of it's not safe for people. It's not safe for kids. It's not good for, it's not good for, you know, everyday living. For what? For people. I don't like smoke. I don't want to fill the air with smoke. Because why? Because that'll hurt people. How about this one? Clean water. I mean, people need clean water. Did you know that there's like 1.5 or 1.4 million deaths a year in the world because people don't have clean water to drink? Why aren't we concerned about that? Because the context of modern day environmentalism is not concern for people, that's why. 25% of people in the world, I mean, this is crazy. I didn't even know this one before I wrote this sermon. 25% of the people have no access to safe drinking water in the world. That's crazy. If that, I mean, look, even if that's an over-exaggeration, even if it's 10%, that's insane. I wonder, how, I wonder how much of that, guess what? We have the technology to make clean water. Did you know that? We have the technology to fix these things. But the environmentalist today doesn't care about people. As a matter of fact, the, the earth-worshipping environmentalist today thinks people are the problem. They will identify people as the problem. It's completely anti-biblical. It's completely against the Bible. It's completely against God. There's articles. Go, you wouldn't even have to search long. There's an article I just read just a few months ago about how the modern day environmentalist doesn't want to have children because having a child puts out like seven times more CO2 in that child's lifetime, you know, with the resources it takes to raise a child and all this stuff, than like the 10 next greatest CO. I mean, this is crazy. It's completely anti biblical. People believe this, but the modern environmentalists today literally say there are too many people. That's the problem. That, you know, it's Mother Earth and that's above people. The Bible says children are inheritance of the Lord. And I mean, the fruit of the womb is his reward. The Bible says that children are a blessing. They're saying children is how God blesses you. Like, go have as many kids as you want to have. That's what the Bible says. Look, the point is, this modern-day environmentalist, it's all another form of pagan worship.